Hey everyone, so you're moving to New Jersey and you wanna know about Morristown. Well, I'll tell you everything you need to know. So um, I'm on the green right now, which is the pretty much the heart of Morristown. Um, and this is a phenomenal area that has hundreds of shops around this. We're sort of right bang in the center of Morristown. Um, and we've got restaurants here, we've got coffee shops, gyms, businesses that, that are just thriving here. I mean, whatever you're looking for, we really have everything you need here. Um, and what I love about Morristown is, is it still has that sort of big city vibe. So if you're moving out of the city and you don't want to be, get the total shock of suburbia, move here and you still got this sort of really nice city vibe here. Um, the, the station is about a block that way. Um, and it's about an hour into New York. Um, hour 10 if it's slow local and I do think they have an express that's about 48 minutes and that's not bad because now you know it's sort of 50 50 people are working from home half of the time so they're okay with these longer commutes and the great thing about Morristown is you get a little more bang for your buck out here some of the uh, some of the uh, restaurants that I love out here is um, Chef Freddy's Table I love Milburn Deli Ooh, you gotta go to that yikes that's so good um, Town Bar and Grill, that's just to name a few. We got the Committed Pig over there, which is a great burger place. Um, just wonderful. I'm gonna walk you around this park too, because you gotta see it, it's great. Okay guys, we're gonna go back to my office, my studio, and we're gonna talk about price points in this market. And also I'm gonna to touch on Morris Township, which is the sort of circle around Morristown. If you're looking in Morristown, you'll probably wanna look in Morris Township as well. All right guys, I'll see you there. All right, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed Morristown, Morris Township. And let's just take a second to do a deep dive into the property values and what to look for. And just so to let you know, uh, what I look for is this. Uh, price points at four bedroom, two bath, and three bedroom, two bath that don't need much work that are move-in ready. Not new construction, not new development, but not foreclosures or short sales who need to be totally renovated. So that's sort of in a nutshell what we're looking at right now. And what I have to do that with is a newsletter that I send out every month to a lot of my clients you can put any zip code in there in the new jersey area and it gives you sort of the monthly snapshot of what properties are worth so we're going to go to my computer right now let's look at this three bedroom two bath now ultimately i would say the the sweet spot for this is five hundred thousand. Three bedroom, two bath. As you can see here, you know with my cursor circling we've got a five hundred thousand this house needs very little work um, decent square footage on a really nice plot of land um, doesn't need much done and we're at 499 again we are at uh, if we look up here at the three bedroom two bath for 550 that is on sort of the highish higher end of uh, your sort of normal three bedroom two bath but that is a good sort of idea of what the price point you want to budget for for a three bedroom two bath that 500 to 550,000. Now, if we scroll up here for the four bedroom, two bathroom, um, we are looking now for, you know, sort of this sort of 670,000. And again, I'm talking about your standard four bedroom, two bathroom that doesn't need much work, that is move in ready. That is sort of on the low end of a really nice four bedroom, two bath, even though this is a four bedroom, three bath. So let's scroll up and we're gonna see the sweet spot for the four bedroom, two bath slash three bath, let's just say, is that sort of 699, 700,000. Move in ready, nothing much that needs to be done. You may wanna paint a few rooms and stuff like that. 700, anything more, you've got some exceptional qualities. Anything less, there's gonna be you know, a few little problems here to overcome or renovation that needs to be had. And that's, all, you know, in a nutshell where our sort of standard three bedroom, two bath, 
four bedroom, two bath wise. Anything more like four bedroom, three bath or five bedroom or six bedroom, just tack on that money. Anything lower, you know, like a two bedroom, lower it down. You know, your two bedrooms are gonna be around the 400,000 range and then condos and townhomes, those are a completely different market. Yeah, let's have a little quick look at the solds just so you can see that. So we're gonna do solds last 60 days. Okay, and again, we're gonna look at the same thing here. Three bedroom, two bath, if we had any sold there in that time, and then the four bedroom, two bath. So let's scroll down here. So uh, we're looking at, uh, so three bedroom, three bath, again, we're looking at 620 here, that's pretty exceptional, but, but three bedroom, three bath here. A nice little townhome, again, that's sort of a different market. I'm seeing a three bedroom, one bath here for $510,000. I know that one, it was in great shape um, on a big plot of land in Morris Township, 510,000. So that's that's exactly what I'm talking about there. Let's have a little peeky peek at four bedroom, two bath. We have four bedroom, two bath here for 630,000. Um, a little further out, I believe, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, Morris Township, a little far away from the Morris Town, Town Center. But 685 again, Morris Township. Let's see what we can find. Four bedroom, two bath for Morris Town. I don't think there was any sold. Oh, here we go. Four bedroom, four bath, 975. So we don't really have the four bedroom, two bath in the Morris Town area, which is near the town center. Um, but again, if we did, you'd be looking at that 700, 750 in decent shape, not brand new renovated not new construction. Um, but but these numbers are all there for you every month. If you guys want them, let me know, comment, contact me. I can get you set up on this newsletter ASAP. Um, good, and for the commuters out there, I just wanna show a little snapshot of this. This is sort of the Dover line that goes straight in to uh, Penn Station in Manhattan. And as you can see here, we're in that hour range. Um, I think there are a couple express trains that are a little quicker around the 48 minutes and then there's slower local trains that are about the hour 10 minutes, but just gauge for an hour. And that's just, that's doable this day and age because again, a lot of people are 50-50 with work at home and going into work. And I know when I commuted, uh, my, my commute was usually 40 minutes on the train, really comfortable, the seats are lovely. I used to get so much work done you know, making calls on my computer. Um, there's nothing else that you can do and get your headphones in and get to work. I used to get so much done. Um, just, just so you know, I learned this one the hard way. At the peak hours, the rush hours, there were quiet trains. Uh, it's usually the first train and the last train of each uh, train that comes. You can't be talking on your phone. You will, uh, you will get kicked out. Um, again, learned that one the hard way. Uh, and so I just wanted to share that. Now, driving wise, oh, oh, before I forget, you can also go into Hoboken if you see the bottom there. Um, this goes into Hoboken as well, and then you can get the PATH train. That's a similar timestamp as well. We go about an hour, maybe a little less into Hoboken, and then you're in the PATH, and then you're in the financial district. So there's that option as well. Driving, pretty similar. It's about 45 minutes or so to get to the bridge or the tunnel or whatever, and then however long it takes you to get into Manhattan, depending on the traffic, that's, we all know what that's like. So if you want a more specific um, idea of what Morristown or Morris Township can offer you, contact me, comment, and I will reach out. All right, guys, I hope this helps and look out for the next one.